All right, so we're getting close to the summer season, and we just got into spring, but the warmer weather, it is getting close to being here, right? I mean, we have temperatures close to 80 by, uh, by the end of the week, rather. So what's some stuff you can do that's not going to heat your kitchen up with the stove and make things hot or a cool, refreshing treat? How about some homemade pinwheels? So here is what we're going to do. It's kind of a chicken salad, Caesar salad pinwheel, if you will. So to show you off the ingredients... Here's what we have going on first. I have my romaine lettuce already here on my chopping board with my uh, slicer here. And the reason I'm wearing gloves today, usually I don't, because it's it's okay not to use the gloves as long as your hands are clean. That's kind of the thing, but it's gonna be, this could be a little messy today. So I have here my romaine lettuce. Then I have already chopped up, as you see there, some uh, eggs. Then I have a cheese of your choice, whatever cheese you like. This is a cheddar cheese that I went with, but if you want to do a Parmesan, that's fine. And then whatever salad dressing you prefer. I've gone with a Caesar for today. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, as you see here, I have some chopped up uh, chicken breasts. So I found these at the store. These are Italian herb wraps. I've never had one of these, but I figured, well, that'd be really easy to make with this. So I got one of these wraps because we're going to make pinwheels, right? So first off, Go ahead and just kind of get your lettuce out on your cutting board. You can use a knife if you want to, but if you have this kind of chopper or some sort of chopper, that would make things a lot easier for you because you really don't want to put big pieces of lettuce inside a pinwheel. They're known as more finger foods and finger uh, bites, if you will. So I've kind of already pre-chopped up the lettuce, and we'll give it just a few more chops here. And once your lettuce is chopped up to what you think is going to be best for your pinwheel, you're going to take that lettuce right off here, Use your food scraper if you've got one. Oh, there's a big chunk, so we're going to hold off on that. And put it into a mixing bowl. And I love my kitchen scraper because if you use your knife, that can sort of dull your knife. And if you're spending good money on your knives, you don't want to dull them, right? So get something that's going to cost you five bucks at best that really kind of scrapes things up for you. So now we've got that in there. Got a little lettuce inside of my scraper. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our ingredients. So I'm going to put the uh, Caesar dressing in there, and I might go with some more here in just a second. I'm gonna put my shredded cheese in there, and then I'm gonna put my eggs in there as well. And just because there's a lot of ingredients, I am gonna add just a little bit more there of that Caesar dressing. Then just take your tongs or your spatula, whatever, and mix everything up so that it you know, gets a nice, even distribution. And once you've got that, then go ahead and add in your chopped up chicken breast as well. Continue to stir. Again, make sure everything is nicely, evenly coated, which getting a really good coating. Got almost really, if you will, kind of the perfect amount of uh, dressing in there. And this is such a flexible recipe because you can just do so much with it. Choose your own salad dressing. Choose your own kind of cheese. Choose your own kind of flavor a wrap, if you will, a plain tortilla shell. And if you want to give it a little bit of heat, as Ron and I were discussing earlier, I like just a little bit there of the red pepper flake. And we'll evenly distribute that again. Now, as for actually putting your pinwheel together, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pinwheel... And you're going to then put your mixed ingredients of lettuce and cheese and chicken on there, but don't put it too thick because that's going to make it a little bit on the hard side to wrap. If you want some pepper on there, a little bit of fresh crust pepper, then you're going to take your time and try to tightly wrap all this up while also using your fingers to keep the ingredients inside. Now it's wrapped. Take my gloves off to make this easier now. Take toothpicks, evenly distribute the toothpicks in between your wrap. This is gonna hold it together, but also give you equal pieces of your pinwheel. Take your knife, cut off the edges, because there's really nothing much in those, and of course they're also a little uh, not shaped evenly. Take off your edges, then you begin to cut your pinwheel, and you've already got your toothpick through it, and there you go. You have yourself a chicken salad pinwheel, quick, easy to make, healthy, eh, that's debatable, but nonetheless, something cool to eat during the warm temperatures. We'll give Ron some pinwheels coming up next.